Welcome back to the Electricians 2 channel. Guys, let's do a, another review. Uh, this is going to be a comparison review between uh, this Heiko FX8, I mean FX-888D compact saw in station against the JVC tools uh, CD-BQE soldering station. To make a long story short, fellas, this won't be much of a comparison because this is Heiko's base model right here. And it's what you see is basically just turn it on and you, I guess you set it to the temperature that you like and you do what you have to do compared to uh, this is a, one of a JBC 2s base model, uh, the CD-BQE. And the reason why, other than, uh, as, as far as feature-wise, it won't be much of a comparison because you can look at the one and see which one it has the most features. Um, this JVC Tools uh, just walks all over the, the, this, this model, Heiko, by leaps and bounds. Uh, but a few other things, um, there's some things I like about the Heiko and some things I don't like about the Heiko, but I can live with. There's some things I like about it, and, and, and the same with this one. Some things I like about it, some things I don't like about it, but I can live with it either way. Uh, as far as features, like I said, this one don't really have any except what you see on and off switch, up and down setting. You set it to that point and turn it on. So this one would be more or less for uh, just a hobbyist. If you, if you, uh, well, you know, just a hobbyist, just a uh, hobbyist in the, and you're not a professional, and you just want to turn it on and solder and, and turn it off and go about your business, that would probably be your best bet. If you want something a little bit better, a little bit more advanced, uh, you know, you may want to move to something like this. Uh, I know Heiko have their own brand that's out. I mean, I mean, they have several other models besides that, but you have to go up in price to get what you want. This one, uh, you start. I believe you start from this one right mm -hmm. here, and you work your way up. So, um, what? There are several. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I, you know, I like both of them. Both of them have their pros and their cons. I really do. As far as you know, heating and reaching a temperature really fast. Both of them are really fast at reaching a temperature. I think the JBC is a little bit quicker. You know, and uh, they have more safety features on this one. Um, you know, uh, than the Heiko, this model Heiko. I have used Heikos in the past before. I've used uh, several other um, models, Weller, some models um, I can't even name. I've used them before. And I have to tell you, B, uh, out of all the ones that I've used, uh, that I've used, and it's just my opinion, guys. I'm not saying it's the best one. I'm not saying this is your opinion. It's just mine. Out of all the soldering stations I've used, this JBC got to be the best one. This have to be the best soldering station that I've used out of all the soldering stations that I've used. Um, I like how it's made. I like all the features that it have on it. And, um, you know, it has, it has, let me just call out a few features that it have on it that you might, um, okay, like for example, this is, um, this, 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 this stand right here. This is, this is, this is an adjustable, um, I'm sorry, this is a quick chip, uh, quick tip changer right here, for example. Now, if I want to pull this out and I want to change the tip, I don't have to worry about the tip cooling down before I remove it. I can just put it in here, uh, put it like that, leave that in there, put it in there, just that quick. If I need to change the tip in this one, I would have to just turn, turn the unit off and... Um, Wait till it cool down. Now that's a feature that I would have to wait when all of the, yeah, well, all of the HACOs or uh, any other um, soldering station, you have to wait till it cool down and that's time wasted. Whereas, you know, you can just continue moving right along if you do it that way. If you can uh, just take it out, change it out, put the tip in you need, and that's that. Also, this one have a hibernation feature. Um, so I'm sure some of the well, I mean, some of the HACOs have it. Some of the wellers may have it, but I know this one have it. And this is, uh, you. It after 10 minutes, it goes into a hibernation type mode. Um, also, while we're sitting in the cradle, it, it'll go up, it'll have a min-max type feature on here where 
out of the cradle if you if I wanted to go to 600 degrees where it right ray uh, to go up to 600 de degrees and stay there but when I put it in the, in the cradle it'll drop back down to uh, let's just say I had it on 300 to 300 and after 10 minutes of non use it'll go into hibernation mode I think that's a really good feature that way you can save the t uh, save tips and it's a safety hazard you don't want to burn your uh, your uh, your uh, you know your your station up um, you know so I know this one don't have it, and it'll be an unfair an unfair comparison. Before I even, I've never even heard of JBC two before. It seemed like they've heard of me, so they. Um, but compare it for this two to be a comparison, other than just me just mentioning the tips and, the, and how quick it heat up. Other than that, it won't it won't be fair. You know, it's it's it won't be fair. It's like a grown up fighting a kid, a small child, right now. And fighting a small child, and that's not that's unfair. So, uh, but this is um, since I don't have the uh, the um, another Heiko on this bench, a higher level Heiko. Uh, like I, said, I, can't, I can't really do a comparison, but I can tell you more about this JBC um, um, compact soldering station. If I did not have this this JBC. This will be my default, and this will be king of my bench right here, this one. Uh, other than that, but since I have this one, I'm not I'm, I'm not going to say I won't use this ever again, but I'll have to put it for a backup. I'm going to have to take it off my bench and, you know, and uh, just put it up. And uh, if something was to happen with this one, then I'll pull it out and i use it until I get this one fixed or whatever. But uh, i have to put this one up. I'm gonna wind up keeping this one out because I like the heat, the heating, uh, the heat gun on here. I use that, but this one have several features, several other features on it that I like. They even have um, you could, they have a USB port, um, USB connector on the back, so you can download and up, uh, upgrade your firmware for this these features that's in here. On the, and it's a nice big LCD screen, nice big nice big lettering. Uh, on it, readable lettering. You have a, a um, um, I mean, all kinds of things. The, the wand itself, it, it's it's not heavy. It feels much lighter than uh, this Heiko. The Heiko is not real heavy, but it's it's much lighter than the Heiko. And uh, it's I can I can work with both of them. And need you know if I I can work with both of them. But just seeing this one here, I can kind of like grip it a little bit better. Before I held this one in my hand. Like I said, this one was the best one right here to me. I can, I have to do this, I have to do what I have to do with this one, and I was doing it well. But um, since I've, I've been using, I, I've, I've never used it yet, but since I got this one, um, this feels much, much, much better than the Heiko to me. Um, they, they have a, a steel wool that's inside of here. This is more or less like a splash guard here when you are uh, trying to clean the steel wool off. You also have a sponge that goes in here. I haven't put it in here yet because I have to, you know, you have to put water on it and it kind of rises up to that size and it's right here. But um, the housing is really nice. I weighed it, it was like five pounds, much heavier than, than this one, five pounds. There's nothing, and this, this stand right here is adjustable. You can have it turn either up uh, however you want it, up, up, or bring it down a little bit. Even this, uh, this little wand right here goes how you want it to go. You can pull out more um, cord if you like, or pull more or pull it in. I like that. Instead of having a cord all having all you're trying to solder and have all this cord is in front of you right, you know, where you're soldering at. I don't like that feature. So uh, there's several features even if I if you if I did have another model of the Heiko sitting here that this would win out, uh, you know, because even the other model Heikos that, that the cord still sits, you have, you have uh, two feet of cord sitting in front of you when you're trying to solder. And that wasn't a problem so much until I s saw this on this one and how much, you know, I prefer I can pull the cord out of the way or they will hold the cord out of the way while I'm soldering. So, um, you know, my pick out of the two uh, it would be the JBC two, and that's that's why I would say this is the best soldering station, compact soldering station that I've that I've used so far. 
the JBC Tools. Uh, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and leave a comment uh, in support of the channel, and that's for free. I appreciate that. And thank you guys who have been supporting the channel, leaving comments and hitting the like button. I, I thank you for it. This is your, new, this is your first time. I'm going to ask you to uh, support the channel. If you got any kind of value out of this video, support the channel in any kind of way you can. The like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Now, anyway, um, also, like I said, you can, um, there's a lot of features. This is a, con a quick connect right here that you can take this, um, this, the sorting iron away. And if you had, if you were trying to plug a different one in, you could. What I don't like is I don't like this plastic around here. I got it, it's it doesn't feel sturdy. It's not cheap, but I, you know, I'm I'm just. It, it, I wish it would have been metal. It'd have been nice. If it would have been metal. This whole little connector would have been metal, but it's plastic, and uh, I can't see it breaking unless you drop it or something. You know, step on it. But other than that, it's it's nice. It should have been metal, but. Um, this is a this is a real very nice soldering station, um, so if uh, y'all out looking for a nice soldering station, uh, uh, you know and you can uh, you can afford it. Uh, check out JBC Tools. Um, I give it a thumbs up. I give it a perfect ten, ten out of ten. Uh, out of the comparison between the Heikos and uh, and this JBC Tools. Um, okay, so I'm not going to say Heiko is a is just a um, just a you know, don't don't have quality tools because they do. They have quality uh, soldering stations. It's just my opinion up against this, comparing it against the JBC. Uh, no, it's no competition at all. I don't think at all. Okay, guys, uh, I want to thank you for letting me uh, take up your time. And it's always, and uh, I ask you guys to tune in for, I do have some more videos coming. Um, so make you guys stay tuned for that and until next time you guys all take care of yourselves and peace out oh one more thing I want to show you about this menu guys hold on before you do it um, show you about this menu I didn't do it I'm sorry about that you can go through here for example you can reset hit that you can reset um, the uh, the pin if you like and the pin that you have in here Basically, it's like when you want to go in, and if you want to save your settings, if somebody else was using it, they, they can't go in and uh, mess up your settings. Like you like to set certain things for certain temperatures, certain times, and you can set that mm -hmm. and add a pin to it. And if you don't, um, you know, nobody can change that. So um, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. If you want to turn off at a certain time, you, they would have to go in. They can't do it without putting your pin in. That's a good thing. Okay, so and you can go down to that. That's reset settings. We don't want to do that. The station settings, we can do the same thing. Uh, we change it from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can go to uh, maximum temp, whatever you want that to be. But I would have to go back. Like I just mentioned, you'd have to put my pin in there to to bring it up. Right now, I have a, I have a set on like 660. That's hot enough for me. And uh, the minimum I have is set like to 300, uh, some 350, something like that. And that's the, uh, I mean, that's the maximum to me for me is 660. The minimum is like 300. But no, in order for me to change it, I have to put my pin in and then I'll make my changes. So, and I'll, I'll, I'll go to a minimum temp. That's what I was just talking about. I, I, have, I have to put my pin in again to do that. And um, the help, help text, same thing. I put my pin in in order for me to change that. Uh, the beeping, what you hear, I can turn it off or turn it on. If you know, um, for example, um, let me see. Like the beeping, yeah, I have to put my pin in for that also. I like the I like the beeping. It really don't matter. To, you know, it really don't uh, bother me. Like some people don't can't take that noise, that little beeping noise, but it's nothing to me. So um, go back to the top and two setting. Same thing, um, you can fix one temperature or a temperature uh, level set or a sleep delay. You, you can set that also. And let's go to sleep delay and see what it says, sleep temperature. 
Um, let me see, sleep delay. I would have to put my pen in to do that. And all the settings, that's really nice. I really like that. I really like that feature. So that means that uh, that's just, that'd be a good safety feature because that means you know, anyone can come in and turn your unit on. If you had this at a station and um, you don't want to bother messing with your soldering station, you can program it. Whereas nobody, it won't come, it won't turn on unless they know your pen, and that's good. Whereas this one, uh, anybody who know where that side the on and off switch at, even if it's plugged in, could turn it on and use it. And me, I don't like everybody using my tools. That's just me. I don't like everyone using my tool, and this works per per perfect for me. And I do have my pen in here. So, um, I mean, I don't anticipate anybody coming in. In fact, nobody won't be coming messing with this but me, but I still have a pen in here anyway. So, um, you know, you, ha you know, have all kinds of good features in here. And this is, the, this is the basic model, basic model. So, and... Um, let me go right here and go back to the main menu. And I'm going to just exit. And there it is. It's sleep right now at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what I had it um, set to. And when I pick this up off of here, that's when you can see how quick it jumps up to the temperature. Um, look at that. 660. Just that quick. This thing is, it's, this is awesome too, y'all. I really like it. I really like that too. Anyway, um, so guys, again, you guys take care and, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.